Well, Coach, here we are uh, at the day of uh, Game 7 here, the first Game 7 in Growler's history. How are we feeling? Feel great. Um, got a good sleep last night. Looking forward to the challenge today. Um, the boys seem really fired up, ready to go. I mean, there's nothing better. I think every, every guy wants to play in a Game 7. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how we got here in the sense of having opportunities to close this series out. We're here now and, um, you know, we're going to live in the moment and looking forward to the game. Uh, what positives do you take away from last night's game, uh, you know, to, to try to bring into tonight? Well, I thought we did a lot of good things. I know you could you could see some of the breakdowns that we had. Um, you know, you're playing a good hockey team and they seem to capitalize on their chances. Um, I thought our first period was fantastic. Uh, we had a lot of opportunities that we, you know, we just didn't put the puck in the net. Um, there's a lot of good things, but, you know, we're focused on today. There's some things that we did clean up, and I know that the boys will be able to pick that up and clean that stuff and uh, looking forward to it. Captain James Melindy draws back into the lineup. What does he have to do to be successful and lead this team to victory in Game 7? It's not hard, his role. Um, you know, he we need some leadership on in that dressing room and somebody that's, been, that's played in these big games before, um, somebody that can calm the guys down a little bit. Um, you know, for him, he's just got to make sure that he, he already knows how he has to play. It's going to be a very simple game if we have to kill some penalties, block the shots. But, you know, his biggest task is just making sure that everybody's staying level-headed and living in the moment and not getting too fired up about things. Um, you know, and he's, he does a good job with that. And you yourself uh, behind the bench, any experience in Game 7s to draw upon for tonight? Not Game 7s. Um, as a coach, no. Um, some Game 6s, but... You know, some a Memorial Cup, which is a do or die, and obviously in the semifinals as well, which is do or die. And in fact, in the Memorial Cup, is an overtime game uh, for the championship. So um, I've got the feel of this, uh, the pressure before, you know, and I wouldn't say that the pressure is not there. It 100% is. And I think if anybody says it isn't, they're lying. And that, that's good. I, I, you know, I seem to thrive under the pressure and I look forward to it. Um, just adds to the drama of things. And, uh, you know, I'm fired up. The Lions, they've been scoring early in periods. They've been scoring late in periods. Uh, what, what's it going to take for the Growlers to be the ones to jump out in front and hopefully stay there tonight? Yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, it's going to be such a long game, and that's what I told the boys. There's going to be ups and downs in this game, just like there has been in this series. So uh, it would be nice if we can go out there and score right away, and it would be nice to score on our first shot and second shot and third shot. Um, but again, it, it's 60 minutes of hockey, and that's what I focus on, not on one particular part of the game. Um, you're right, they've scored some goals right away and right near the end that seemed to be, uh, you know, a little bit disheartening for us and I think for any team that would be, um, but, you know, for us, it, it's just focused on 60 minutes and performing as best as we can for that 60 and, you know, I told the boys it doesn't matter about focusing on winning and losing, you just focus on your performance and that's all you can do and, um, if you put it on a good performance at the end of the game, I'm sure you're going to look up at the scoreboard and uh, it's going to have the right score. Uh, is this a situation where the best players have to be the best players for the Growlers? I mean, is this a night where you're really hoping to, to get a lot, say, out of the top top six, top line? 100%. Um, you know, your goalie has to be the best. Uh, your top defensemen have to be the top. The, your top forwards have to be the top forwards. That is, of, of course, and that's, you know, it, that's how you become the best player is when you, you step up in these games. Um, again, I, I, I told that to the boys this morning. You know, the best players have to be the best. And we have the best players in the league on our team. So, you know, if they step up their game, which I have full confidence that they will, I think we're going to like our results at the end. Uh, this is a team here based in St. John's, Newfoundland, that has a handful of Newfoundlanders, local guys, set to play a Game 7 here at home. Is there any way to tap into that and channel that? Uh, because that's going to be, this has the potential to be a special night for a lot of guys. Yes, yes, 100%. I mean, you know, I'm sure they're going to have friends and family coming out to this game. And, you know, it's always nice as a hockey player and as a performer to perform in front of your, you know, your loved ones. And they're going to have that and they're going to have that support. You know, we're very lucky that we get to play at home in a game seven. Um, you know, I just think you get to have your own nap, you get to have your routine, uh, you get to have your whatever meal is of, of your choice instead of the road meal, which we supply. Uh, so there's so many good parts that go in about it. Um, but with the local guys, 100%, I'm sure they're gonna use that extra energy, which is only a boost for us. Uh, Coach, it, it seems so far this series that the Lions have had a step and a little bit in the mental game. Um, 
both on and off the ice. Do you think that the dressing room is ready to address that uh, for Game 7? Yeah, I think we've gone through that. I think that's a good thing to go through for us. Um, I'm happy that we've had these ups and downs. You know, it's been a somewhat frustrating series for us because some of the results, I don't think that we thought it, they should have been the results. And we've had to deal with, with a lot of, um, you know, some unfortunate bounces, I guess, would be the right way to say it. And it seems a little bit unlucky. Not, not to discredit anything that they have done. They've played a fantastic series themselves. Um, they're a really good hockey team, and they've, they've stayed composed. But, you know, that's, we have a really young hockey team. Um, we have the youngest in the league, essentially. And it's the first time these guys are feeling these type of pressure and moments. And, you know, they're learning from them as they go, and that's a good thing to learn from. Um, I think that you need to go through it in order to learn from it. And the boys have, and I feel like we're in a really, really good spot.